back um, on the bike trail. I had to reboot the video because the last video had some discrepancies within the teaching of the uh, vitamin D's. But anyway, I'm out here again. I was, uh, I don't know if you all can see me because it's so sunny out here. But um, I'm out here catching these vitamin D's, these natural vitamin D's. And uh, for those that want to know how you can get it naturally, you have to be out in the sun. What happens is the sunlight, it um, burns off calories from your skin. But through the skin, it burns off calories. It burns off calories. So excuse me for the light, but this is beautiful out here. This is beautiful. I'm taking advantage, bro. Come out here on the bike trail. You can either walk or either ride your bike. Big ups to this mix right here. KY me low. So yeah, you know, get out here and walk, ride your bike, do what you do, you know what I'm saying? And 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 enjoy life, people. A lot of people are not enjoying life because these are the last days and people are stressing. People are stressing. And they're afraid that they may get a tour with somebody out here because these are the last days and people are evil. Check it out. When you're happy, it's weird to other people. It's weird to uh, nowadays you can't be happy. It's a it's a it's against the law or it's weird to be happy. Why? Because Satan is working overtime. So what's happening is he's uh programming. He's muppeting people and brainwashing the majority to feel worthless. He's programming people's brain to feel, to make them feel like if they're happy, it's not worth being happy because tomorrow you're going to be sad anyway. If you're laughing and happy today about one thing, just know that it's only going to be temporarily. And within hours, you're going to be stressed out because this is going to happen. That's going to happen. Or you got that to worry about. You know, as soon as you, you you try to be happy by walking or riding your bike or going some places and enjoying the beautiful day that God has made, uh, Satan try to keep reminding you, look, you ain't going to be happy for long. You got bills to pay. You got a car note that you're behind. They may come and take your car. Your wife cheating on you. Remember that. She, you, you thought that she was cheating on you two weeks ago. Remember that. He'll try to remind you on how to be back depressed. You had a bad day at work. T today is a new day. He's going to try to remind you to stress about what happened yesterday at work or whatever with a dodo. You know, uh... It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's, and it's like people, they linger to that. They believe Satan, and they rather do. they like, well, it is true. We is stressing. We is, no, you're not. You want to stress. It's how you deal with the situation. Huh? No, no. My father told me it's a sin to, to weary. It's a sin to, to, to worry and fear. It's a sin. He said when you have the Holy Spirit in you, and you're worrying, you're fearing, you're frustrated, you're mad, you're angry. You are grieving his Holy Spirit. You are grieving the Spirit. Huh? How dare we stress about things we might have no control over. But we don't want to let go. We want to figure everything out. And that's the reason why we can't never play catch up. Because we're trying to figure everything out. We got everything. I know people that don't even want to go places and, and live. Because they worrying about how they're going to resolve this whole big problem right here. You can't resolve it. You're, 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 not, you're not a problem solver. You are the problem. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is what I'm doing, bro. I can't solve everything. I can't help everybody. I can't help all my all my situations. 
I'm only allowed to do what God give me the strength to do. And the rest is up to him. And that's a lot. <laughs> Trust me, I, I've given a lot to my father. And this is what he's blessing me to be able to do. I'm riding my bike. This is my day off. It's Sabbath Eve. Screws the sunlight for the phone. Well, screws my phone. Ain't the not, don't excuse the sun. Screws my phone. I got a crappy phone. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm letting go and letting God and enjoying myself. When you let go and let God, you, boy, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a lot different. I, you know, you get into it with people and you argue and you dispute with people and you winning by living. They at home stressing. They don't know how to live. They gossiping. They still worrying about what happened yesterday, last week, a month ago. Man, please, you done forgot all about it. Once again, this the mix I'm listening to, I kind of uh, put this mix together for my brother in Christ, KY Milo. You can look him up on YouTube. It's a nice spiritual mix. So just leaving y'all with a quick note, man. Love yourself before you can love somebody else. You cannot love nobody else. I love you. I love you. I love you. How you, you, you gotta love yourself first. You gotta love yourself first. <laughs> Straight up. There's no such thing as loving somebody when you don't love yourself first. There's no such thing as loving someone more than yourself. And I'm not saying love yourself with pride. I'm not saying that. I'm saying do you be, take care of yourself. Know that God loves you if you love yourself first. Like, you know, you're not worrying about what somebody think of you. You're not pleasing man. You, you're not out here busting your back to please man so man can accept you for the moment. That's the problem. We we want we want men as in human beings to to uh, accept us for who they want to how they want to perceive us. But by the end of the day, we're not happy because we're faking because we don't want to be persecuted. That's all. All that's because we don't want to be persecuted by man. But see, when we're persecuted by man, it's favorable to God. Because man is temporarily, man, he could destroy man. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to destroy the wicked. <laughs> he's going to destroy the wicked. The wicked is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. And guess who's going to be watching? The saints. Those who have been part of the, those who are going to be part of the kingdom are going to witness the wicked get tossed into the lake of fire. We're going to witness that. The problem is that they don't believe it. You got this fella on YouTube uh, denouncing Christ and cursing out God and I don't know, I, mean, I couldn't even stand to listen to the video. He was all depressed out and shit. He was totally just led by Satan. He had the, the legions in him. That's all. He had the legions in him. And you know, and he probably was someone who never believed God but just was on YouTube to get, get see, let me tell y'all something. You have to understand something. People are so lonely and depressed. It, see, it's not always that look either. You, you don't have to always look uh, unsaved and unholy and, and ratchet. You don't have to have that look. That's where Satan also deceives people where they uh, too got to look. Let me tell you something. What happens is people are so desperate for attention. They'll do anything on social media for people to feed off into the shenanigan. Now, I, I, even if I have a, a, a spiritual channel, I know and I can sense when someone just want attention. So I'm not going to upload your video onto my channel and expose what you, what you, you look like. I may talk about you, but I'm not going to expose your video on my channel. All people do sometimes is just want to get tea. They just want to. They just want to be relevant. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what's happening. The relevancy is rapid. You could be famous today and tomorrow I forgot about. It. So people are trying to stay relevant. People are willing to curse God. People are willing to sell itself on social media. They willing to do anything. People will kill and be on social media with the guns, talking about some who they killed and why they killed them. They'll kill themselves, pretend that they killed themselves on social media, kill their baby mama, all this just to get ticked. Now tell me if that's not Satan. 
Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, hey, this mix right here, check it out. It's KY Me uh, Low. KY Me Low Mix. I put it together for this brother, man. He He's a great uh, brother in Christ. You can hear his story if he's willing to, uh, to tell you about his story. But grand with it. It's a very nice spiritual mix. And it's, it's, it's food for the soul. All right, Shalom. Come out here and get some of these vitamin D's, y'all. Enjoy life. Forget the, the, the henchmen of Satan. Nah, let it go. One.